Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to be looking at converting into standard form. Now, standard form is a way of showing very big or very small numbers um, in, a, in a standard form. It's also known as scientific notation, but here in the UK, we call it standard form. So the goal of standard form is to have a number in a format that looks like this, where A is a number between 1 and 10, although I suppose uh, technically between 1 and 9.999999 inclusive. It's times 10 to the power of something, so that X is just a something. So I'm going to start with this top one. I want to give that in standard form. So the first thing I want to do is figure out where the decimal point is currently in that number. So whenever you can't see a decimal point, it always means that it's at the end. So that's my decimal point currently. What I want to do now is I want to put in a decimal point to make this a number that is between 1 and 10. So I can put the decimal point in any of these places, but there's only one place I can put it to make it between 1 and 10. And that is there. So now I've got 3.89 and that is between 1 and 10 there's nowhere else I could put that so now that I've got my 3.89 what I want to do and actually I'm going to write that over here 3.89 that's my first number by the way that's that bit so it's going to be times 10 to the power of something so it's now figuring out what that power is so what I want to do is I want to count the places from where I put my decimal point to where it began. So if I treat this kind of like a number line, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that is 6 places and it's in the positive direction. So that is positive towards the right, so like I said very much like a number line, which means that my index for 10 is 6. So this number here, which is 3,890,000, um, becomes 3.89 times 10 to the 6. And that's that in standard form. So like I said, we can also do it with small numbers as well. So you can see here we've got a smaller number and we're just following the same rules. So this time we can see the initial point of the decimal point because it's already in there. So again, I'm putting in a decimal point to um, put, make this number between 1 and 10. So again, there's only one place I can put it, and that's there, because 8.26 is between 1 and 10. So 8.26 is my first number, and that is times 10 to the power of something. It always is in standard form. And again, I just count from where I put the decimal point to where it began. So this time I'm going backwards and I'm going back four places, one, two, three, four. But this time it's backwards, it's in the negative direction. So it's a negative four. Therefore, my index on the 10 is negative four. So 0 0.000826 becomes 10, uh, sorry, <laughs> becomes 8.26 times 10 to the minus four.